One of nature's greatest wonders is the ability of the human ear to distinguish among the millions of sounds around us. Listen. All right, so today we are diving deep into some seriously heavy stuff uh, with a band that really needs no introduction, especially if you're a metal fan. Definitely not a band for the faint of heart. Absolutely not. We're talking about Strapping Young Lad. Yeah, and not just any Strapping Young Lad, but like way back in the day, 1995, when they were just starting to make waves. Yeah, like before the internet, before everyone knew their name. Exactly. We've got this awesome interview, like a time capsule, really, and it gives you this raw, unfiltered look at the band. Yeah, you get to see the chaos, hear the energy. I mean, especially Devin Townsend. He's a force of nature. Seriously. And right away, he just drops this bomb about, like, getting a record deal when he was just 19. 19. I can I... barely remember what I had for breakfast. Right. 16 albums was the offer. Can you imagine? Wow, that's intense. Yeah, and I think you can kind of hear it in his voice, like a little bit of disillusionment, you know, with the industry and all that. Yeah, but you also have to think... Even though it's a crazy experience at 19, he still got to tour with Steve I, worked with Metallica and Black Sabbath. Oh, absolutely. It's like those experiences, they shaped him, you know? For sure. Like showed him the ropes, but also made him crave something different. Yeah, like something more real. Totally. More raw, more personal. And that's where Strapping Young Lad comes in. And they didn't hold back at all, did they? I mean, it's severe heavy metal. That's their own little subgenre right there. Right. Like they just decided to make up their own rules. I love it. And they even ask straight up, are we heavy metal? Oh, I got to hear this. Yeah. Just wait for the response. Let's just say there are a few colorful words involved. I bet. But it's more than just the volume, right? Like there's this intensity, this rawness. Totally. It's in the music, obviously, but also the way Devin talks about songwriting. Yeah, because he seems to really hate those typical metal cliches. Yeah, hates them with a passion. Like instead of singing about dungeons and dragons, he's getting inspiration from everyday life, even like being stuck in traffic. Exactly. And I think that's what makes a song like Rainy Season so interesting. It's not glamorous. It's just real, raw emotion exposed. And yeah, that's got to resonate with people. People, you know, hearing something genuine. Totally. Especially if you're tired of the same old song and dance. Yeah. You just want something real. Something that hits you in the gut. Exactly. And speaking of formulas, they definitely weren't following any, were they? Like, nobody was going to slap a label on strapping young lad and be done with it. No way. Devin actually talks about that in the interview. About people trying to put them in a box, you know? Oh, yeah. But he's like... Nope, we're heavy metal. And that's that, you know, they were all about stripping it down, getting to that core feeling. And not taking themselves too seriously all the time either. Right? Definitely not. There's some humor in there too. Like what was that bit about the cod metal king? Oh yeah, gotta love that Canadian metal, right? Seriously. Yeah. But I think that's part of what makes them so interesting, that self-awareness. Absolutely. They knew they were doing something different and they owned it. Totally. And for them, it always seemed to come back to that feeling, right? Like tapping into something raw and emotional. There's actually a part in the interview where Devin says, and I'm paraphrasing here, that he'd rather scream, I f***ing hate you and mean it, than try to be all profound and deep, you like know? It's just cut through the crack. Exactly. Honesty over everything. It's like they were this antidote to all the pretentiousness out there. And I think that's why this interview is so cool. You know, you're hearing them at this crucial point before they even release their debut album in Canada. So the pressure's on, right? They're yeah. about to go on tour. It's their big chance. Absolutely. America and Japan, they had their sights set high. And let's not forget, this is the 90s. Grunge is king. Oh, yeah. Totally different vibe. So for them to come in with that level of intensity, that's pretty bold. It's like swimming upstream, you know? But you can tell they believed in what they were doing. There's this confidence. Oh, yeah. Like when Devin talks about leading the heavy metal comeback, no hesitation at all. It makes you wonder, what if they'd played it safe? Would we even be talking about them today? That's the big question, isn't it? Like, does that rawness that intensity is that what made them legendary it's like a testament to staying true to your vision you know absolutely even if it's weird or different even if it makes people uncomfortable because it wasn't just about Devin, was it no not at all even though he was the driving force he talks about the band about everyone being on board sharing that passion he even says he doesn't want to be a dictator which is interesting yeah that's kind of surprising to hear right Considering his reputation. Totally, but it makes sense. You know, he'd been there, done that with the whole industry thing, maybe learned a thing or two about what not to do. Yeah, like you said, a band's got to be more like a partnership, not a dictatorship. For sure. Got to have that shared passion, that connection. Otherwise, it all falls apart.
so weird to think about, right? Like they're making this intense in your face music, but at its core, there's this need for balance, for connection. It's like that's Devin in a nutshell, you know, yeah. the contradictions, the intensity. That's what makes him so interesting. Totally. So as we wrap things up here, what's the one thing you hope our listeners take away from this whole deep dive? Hmm. That's a tough one. Um, maybe just the idea that you shouldn't be afraid to push boundaries. You know, strapping young lad, they were loud. They were chaotic. But there is also this realness, this vulnerability that people connected with. And that's powerful. You know, to be that open, that honest. Absolutely. And I think we need more of that, even if it makes people uncomfortable sometimes. Since you want to go out and start a band. You're right. Just make yeah. some noise. Break the rules. Right. Why not? That's what Strapping Young Lad did. And look at them now. They left their mark. That's a good way to put it. They left their mark. For sure. And if you want to really dive into the chaos yourselves, make sure to check out the full interview. It's wild. Definitely worth a listen. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Until next time, keep it heavy, folks. Yeah.